So uh, Browns are adding veterans who uh, have a different mindset. They've come from various um, different organizations, a lot of them from winning organizations. Um, take a listen to Zadarius Smith's message to Browns fans um, when he was in town this week. Hey, Cleveland, this is Zadarius Smith, man. I'm so happy to be a Brown. Can't wait to get started. Rule number one, the first thing we got to do is take the division. And after that, we're going to go to the playoffs, baby. Ah! And, Scott, it's kind of a, an unstated, and maybe it's an intentional um, uh, aspect. They're going out and getting guys. You know, Smith played with the Packers. He played with the Ravens. He's played on the Vikings. Um, guys that have been used to winning. It's a, it's a different mindset. And, and he seems genuinely excited to be here. Yeah, and, you know, I think you had Juan Thornhill there, right? Um, and we got to see how he plays, if he's an upgrade over John Johnson the third. But, you know, three Super Bowls in four years, right, that he's been to with the Chiefs, you know, that's big time. That experience, that winning, the winning culture that we can argue if that's real or not, but being in a winning culture, experiencing success, I do think that translates, and I think it it raises expectations within the locker room. Right. And we saw it for years and years here. And I think it's changed, um, you know, starting in 2020, um, and maybe even a little bit earlier, 18 with Baker. The expectations and the feeling inside the locker room changed. But for so long there, um, there was a sense of gloom and doom, right? Bad stuff happened. You expected bad stuff to happen. And I think that's still the way with the fans, but I think it's less and less inside that locker room.